Sabbath boys and girls and mommies and daddies and aunties and uncles, welcome to Kids Peace. No, don't be afraid. I'm not going to be here alone. The kids are going to be joining me real soon. But I have a little cutie pie here. She's Kids Peace baby. You have seen her before. Her name is Zara. Say hi, Zara. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> and I'm sure boys and girls, you have little baby brothers and sisters as well. All right, so aunties and uncles, mommies and daddies, grandma and grandpas, I just want to take a little time to thank you very much for tuning into Kids Space. You are sharing with your children, you're sharing with your friends, you're liking the video, you have subscribed, you're praying for us. I know that. I get calls to say, hey, great program, we're praying for you. And I just want to take this opportunity to let you know we do not take it for granted this is a ministry for children to help children to know about the love of god and we're very happy that you're on the journey with us and guess what we did our first outreach mission yes we did that um top of may child month and very soon you'll be seeing the video we are going to be rolling out our mission videos on sundays so look out for kids in ministry and you are going to be coming along with us on the mission. A matter of fact, next week, I'll bring shirts for you. We have team parent. We have those who support the mission. We have all sorts of space for you in Kids Space. So stay with us, stick with us, pray for us, and grow with us. Thank you so much. Now, enough of me. I know you can't wait to see the children. And they are coming on right now. Don't go away. Right, Zara? And yes, Kids Spacers, now you see all of them. The boys and girls are with me. And we're going to give you your official welcome. Right, boys and girls? Yes, I do. All right. So this is where we say welcome to Kids Space. Where we bring you inspiration from our space to your space. That's correct. Now, are you ready for song service, boys and girls? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. All right, and I am ready too. But before we do all of that, I need somebody to pray for us. Who would like to pray for us? Raheem and Ashwin. We'll take two prayers today, all right? Come, boys and girls. Class friends, and close your eyes. Boys and girls out there, you're going to pray with us as well. Uh, so you, you want to go first? All right, ladies before gentlemen, no problem. Raheem, Ashley will go first and then you go. Boys and girls, class parents and close your eyes. You boys and girls, class parents and close your eyes. Go ahead, Ashley. Dear Father, I pray that you will take care of us on Kate's face. And I pray that you will take care of us when we're finished with Kate's In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Raheem, go ahead. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for us to see another day. As we continue. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, thank you for another day as we continue. Thank you, Ashwell and Rahim, for praying. Now it's time for some service, so let's sit up and let's get ready to sing. Are you ready to sing? Yes, I am. All right, so boys and girls, I know you want to know who I'm here with me. Well, I am Auntie Anna, you know that, and we're going to do a quick introduction. Do you want to tell the boys and girls your name? Go ahead and tell the boys and girls your name. For your star, go ahead. All right, so this is Zoe Mitchell. Go ahead, tell them your name. My name is Asheril Johnson. Yes, and? Rahim Bailey. And? Kendra Thomas. Tell us a bit louder for the boys and girls. Kendra Thomas. Kendra Thomas, and? Kelly Yes, and we have Baby Zara. You know Baby Zara. And? Auntie Sarah. Okay. And we are ready to sing, boys and girls. All right. What's the first song that we're going to sing, Auntie Sarah? Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. All right. Do you know that song, boys and girls? Yes, yes. Auntie Anna. Yeah. All right. Let's go. After two, one, two. Sing along with us, boys and girls. Go, Auntie Sarah. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me. Jesus loves the little ones 
like you, you, you. Jesus loves the little ones like you, you, you. Little ones like you, Jesus loves you too. Jesus loves the little ones like you, you, you. Wow, boys and girls, I know you were singing along with us. And we're going to take another song. Um, there's one that I know, boys and girls. I love the pink, pink patter of the raindrops. Wow, do you know that one? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, if you don't know that one, you will learn it today. And if you know that one, sing along with us. After two, let's go. One, two. I love the pink, pink patter of the raindrops. I love the buzz, buzz, buzzing of the bees. But the thing I love the best is the best. Stars, do you know that one? Yes, Auntie. Yeah. All right, let's give it all that we got. Come, boys and girls, get those fingers ready Ooh. so we can do the actions. All right, <laughs> let's go. After two, one, two. Who made the twinkling stars? The twinkling stars. The twinkling stars. Who made the twinkling stars? Our Happy Sabbath, Kids Spacers! Welcome to another art and craft session with Auntie Carla. And this week we're looking at lesson 10. Who cares? Who really cares, right? But I want for you at this time to just go and get your papers, that the things that you need. So remember, I told you that you would have needed construction sheet, you need a marker or pencil, and you also need a scissor. But remember, if you're going to be using a scissor, you have to get mommy or daddy or an older adult in the home to be with you now. So I'm giving you like two seconds quickly to just run and get the items that you need. All right, and that two seconds begin now. And while you're getting the paper, I'm sure you are going to be hearing my voice. So I just just want to reassure you of this week's story who cares and it is about Joseph remember his father gave him a special coat his brothers were not pleased about it and so while they were going out to tend to the flocks they decided that they were going to put him in a cave who cared Reuben did and so when they had him in the dark cave and he was there and he remembered all the things that his father taught him about about the love of Jesus and what he needs to do to be kind and genuine and all of that just flashing before him he knew that eventually someone would come and that was Reuben and so the the memory verse says which is Psalm 56 verse 3 it says when I am afraid 
I put my trust in you. And also the message says, when we are afraid, guess who we can trust, Kid Spacers? Yes, we can trust God. So you are back and we're going to be joined the hand of Jesus because we do know that God protects us in every situation. No matter how dark and dim it may be, no matter how sad you are, there is always a message that God is going to protect you. So quickly, you're going to get your sheet. Well, I have one already cut out for you. So if you have blank sheets of paper, you can go ahead and mark, place your hand on it and draw around it, and then you're going to cut it out, right? Or I'm going to be using the blue, um, sorry, the brown construction sheet, and I'm going to be highlighting my hand using a marker because we're drawing the hand of God and we know that God will always work things out. So this hand, kid spacers, is a gentle reminder that God will always be there for us no matter what. His hands will always be there to protect us. And here we go. So this is my hand. Mm -hmm. And this hand is very big. Maybe yours is tiny, right? And then I'm going to go ahead now and cut it out. And remember, kid spacers, what do we do at the end of our art and craft sessions? We are going to be sharing our art and craft with those around us so that they can know more about Jesus. And so when you go out this week, maybe with your neighbor, maybe if you go to church and there is a visit so you can share your hand with them and it will be a gentle reminder to them that God cares. So just as how Joseph was in that situation, he knew God would come through for him. But of course, the humanness of him, yes, he's going to feel a little bit down. But in the form of his brother, right, Reuben came through for Joseph and so he was protected. And that is a timely reminder that we should always put our trust, our faith, our hope, and everything that we have in God because he never ever will leave us nor forsake us. And also there's a very nice scripture that goes well with this. It is in Philippians 4 verse 8, which says, be anxious about nothing but in prayer and supplication, make your request be known unto God and he will grant you all the desires of your heart, right? So we are cutting out our hand nicely. And this is our reminder of the hand of God, right? Nice and neat. Remember, my hand is very big, so it's taking me a little while. I'm sure by now you may be finished with yours. All right, good. So here is the hand. And we're going to write on it now when we are afraid. So let's go when we are afraid. We can trust home boys and girls. Yes, we can trust God. All right, and I draw a little heart on it. So Ask mommy and daddy to assist you. When we are afraid, we can trust in God. And so you're going to share this hand. Who cares? Of course, our father cares. And that's it for today, Kid Spacers. But remember, next week. So what are you going to need for next week? You're going to need red construction sheets. Or if you have blank papers, that's fine. You're also going to need scissors. You're going to need crayons. And you're also going to need the fudge stick to assist you for next week. So once again, you're going to need red construction sheets or white plain paper. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need crayons and you're also going to need glue and fudge sticks. Bye kids facers. Take care and share your hand. All right. Bye bye. Happy Sabbath. Okay, boys and girls, I know that was a lovely art and craft and Auntie Carla continues to do well. Did you enjoy art and craft, boys and girls? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right, and I did as well, and I'm sure you did. Now, boys and girls, it's time for your lesson study. Now, if you're a Seventh-day Adventist, you should have a quarterly that looks like this, and we're going to go to lesson 10. 
if you don't have a quarterly, it's just fine. You can use your Bible because the stories are in the Bible. And I'm going to tell you where in the Bible you can find the story. Now, are you ready for your lesson, boys and girls? Yes, Diana. All right. Yes, you look ready because your quarterlies are all open. And guess what, boys and girls? I have some stars here for you. Who loves stars? Me. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys and girls, you love stars as well. Now, you're all going to get stars today, even as we discuss our lesson. So, all right, let's go. It's lesson time. time. All right, so we are at lesson what, boys and girls? Ten. Ten. Lesson 10. All right, great. And the topic of the lesson says, who cares? What's the topic? Who cares? Who cares? All right, boys and girls, you can find that. Tell mommy and daddy that you can find that in Genesis 37 in your Bible, verses 12 to 28. It's on your screen. Genesis 37, verses 12 to 28. So, boys and girls, we're going to talk about the story, right? So, this story is about who? Joseph. Joseph. Yes, Joseph and his brothers. Now, remember that Joseph's father, Jacob, got him a very beautiful coat. Who remembered that? Yes, a very pretty coat. Anybody has a pretty coat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, a very pretty one yeah. with colors on it. It's a rainbow. It's a rainbow one. And Joseph had a coat just like that. And so guess what happened, boys and girls? Joseph, yes, Raheem? It's a blue, orange, red. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so let's listen to the rest of the story. So guess what? Joseph's brothers did not like him very much because he had a dream that they were going to be bowing down to him. But in this particular story, boys and girls, Joseph's brothers, they were out tending to the sheep. Anyone has ever seen a sheep before? Yes, I know. <laughs> All right, great. So they were out there tending to the sheep, but Jacob, Joseph's father, wanted him to go and look for his brothers. And when he went and looked for his brothers, Guess what happened because they didn't like him? What did his brothers do to him? Throw him in the well. Yes, and, and the well is right there, Rahim. Show them, show them. Yes, they threw him in the well. And one of his brothers, they were so, he was so nice. And he said, no, 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 no. We can't do that to Joseph. And he said that they, he was going to take Joseph, right, that one. So he said he was going to take Joseph out of the well. But guess what they did after they took him out of the, the, the well? What did they do? They sold him. They sold him for 20 pieces of? Yes, they sold him. And guess what, boys and girls? Yes, Rahim? Why are they holding him? Because they wanted to throw him. Let me show the boys and girls what you're talking about. So, boys and girls, he's talking about the brothers here throwing Joseph in the well. But guess what happened? How do you think Joseph felt when they threw him in the well and when they sold him? How do you think he, he felt, Ashwell? Very, very sad. Thank you, and, Rahim. And even him, they were doing this because... He was doing this because he wanted to push him. Oh boy, I tell you. Was it a kind or a mean thing? Mean. Or are we supposed to do mean things? No. no. Okay, are you scared, Louis? Oh, hold on, Raheem. Let's give K. Louis a, a, a chance. Go, K. Louis. Joseph was, Joseph was very disappointed in them. Yes, and he was sad. And the story said that he was a what? He was afraid. No, I have one question to ask you quickly. Have you ever been afraid? Yes. I've been afraid of the dark. <laughs> You've been what? afraid of the dark. Okay. Now, no, when we're afraid, afraid what, what do you think we can do, boys and girls? Pray to God. We can pray, pray to God. God. And guess what happened? That's exactly what Joseph did. He was so afraid that he prayed to God, right? And he asked God to protect him. Do you think that God protected him? Do you think that God protected him? Yes, Auntie Okay, yes, Auntie boys and girls. Anna, what did he He's not going to drown because God is going to protect him. So guess what, boys and girls? Let's read our memory verse. Are we ready to read the memory verse? Okay, yes, Ashrael? He didn't get to drown because it was an empty one. It was an empty one. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you for letting us know. So we're going to go to our memory verse. Let's go to our memory verse now, boys and girls. Can we read that together? Yes, Auntie All right, let's go. After two, one, two. When, when I, I am, am afraid, afraid, 
I put my trust in you. Who do who do you think they're talking about? It's who is the God. you? God. Well, the, right. You put our trust in God, Zoe. So let's read that memory verse again. When I am afraid, let's go. When, when I, I am afraid, afraid I, I put, put my, my trust, trust in who? In, in God. God. And it's taken from where? Psalm 56, verse 3. How about the message? Let's read our message. Let's go. What does the message say? When we are afraid, we can trust in God. Let's say that together, everybody. When we are afraid, we can trust in God. Very good. And I'm going to take the very important points quickly. Who has VIPs to share? All right, wait, let's take it once upon a time, boys and girls. I know you have your VIP and these kindergartens, they're so excited. Okay, Louise, let's hear your VIP. Let's take it in turns. Go ahead. What's your very important point? I have two. My very important point for this lesson is God always watches over you. Mm -hmm. And you must never be jealous of others. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Raheem, go ahead with your very important point. In my bag. Yours is in your bag. Well, that's all right. Let's say something that has God ever done anything for you? Have, Have you ever prayed, prayed to God, God and God does anything for you? Yes? yes. Thank you. Very, Very good. good. So, so that, that means that God hears and he answers prayers. Right, Rahim? Yes, thank you. Very well. All right, Ashwell, go ahead with your point. Hold on, Rahim. Let's go ahead. God. God always, God, always, God is always with us. All right, say that a little bit louder for the boys and girls. God is always with us. Very good, and God was with Joseph. God was with Joseph. One moment, Rahim, I know you're ready to say something. But Zoe, do you have a very important point from the lesson? Yes, go ahead and share your important point. Share with us. All right, we are going to come back to Zoe where Zoe thinks right. about that. Yes, so, right. boys and girls, let's take a wrap on this lesson. Let's remind the boys and girls what the topic was. What was the topic again? The topic was who cares. Let's say, say that, that together. together. Who cares? All right, the topic was who, who cares? cares. Good. And the memory verse says, when I am afraid, I will, I will put, put my, my trust, trust in you. And the message says, when we are afraid, we will trust in God. Let's say that together. <laughs> when we are afraid. Yes, Rahim, let us say it together. When, when we, we are afraid, afraid, we will trust in God. <laughs> All right. Yes, boys and girls, you did well. Give me a high five. All right. Great. So let's get the stars going. Boys and girls, ask your mommy and daddy to give you your stars. All right. So this is a star for Zoe right here. And this is a star for Ashral. And this is a star for Rahim right there. And this is a star for Keandro right on her hand. And this is a star for Kay Louise. All right, let's go. All right, let's say that's a wrap. Bye. All right, say bye to the boys and girls from kindergarten lesson. Bye. bye. Okay, boys and girls, for the month of May, this was our book for the month to be reading. And um, it's a subsequent, as you can see, coloring book. We hope that your parents got one for you. We hope that you're enjoying the book. Throughout this month, the boys and girls on Kids Space, they will be telling you um, about the book because each of them, they have a book and they will be showing you their colors and they'll be talking about the book. So remember, if you haven't got your copy yet, boys and girls, ask your mommy or your daddy to get you a copy. All right? Very well. You'll enjoy it. Oh, by the way, you can get this book at the Adapa Bookstore. They are all over the island. Just ask your mommy or your daddy to ask for the Adventist bookstore and you can get a copy. If you don't, if you can't find the store, you can call or WhatsApp 808-4550 and I will tell you where you can get the book. All right. 
Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for your primary lesson study. I hope you didn't go anywhere. And now we are going to turn over to Carlisa. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Welcome, Welcome to, to your primary, primary lesson study. Did you guys study your lesson? Yes, yes Carly did. did. All right, they did. Did you study your lesson, boys and girls? All right, Carlisa, let's go. Okay, so we are at lesson 10, and the topic is A Promise Kept. This story was about the description of what will happen when Jesus comes back. When Jesus comes back, he will come on a cloud of fire, and behind the cloud, or among the cloud, there will be a, the brightest rainbow that a human has ever experienced. And uh, Jesus will come back with more than a million angels, which will be praising God, and then God will um, command the dead in Christ to rise, and then he will take us back to heaven with him on a cloud. Wow. Wonderful. Now, that's a lot to think about, right? But we're going to break it down for you, boys and girls. Okay, so, but I have a question for you, boys and girls. When you think about, uh, by the way, by the way, um, do you believe that Jesus has gone to heaven? Yes. 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 Uh, all right. Okay, good. So we believe that. Um, the topic of the story says, what is the topic of the story? A promise kept. Let's say that for the boys and girls. A promise kept. A promise kept. Okay. So it means that Jesus made us a promise. That he's going to go away, boys and girls, and he's going to prepare a place for us to live with him, right? And that's what Carol is, uh, um, described um, in terms of when he comes back for us. Now, um, let me ask you a question. When you think about Jesus coming back for us to take us to that promised home. What comes to your mind? How do you feel about it? Happy. You feel happy? Um, oh, by the way, boys and girls, I must tell you, who is here on set with us? Go ahead, tell the boys and girls your name. My name is Alana. And? and Azalea. And? Omari. And? Shamori. Shamori. And of course, that's Carlisa and Monte Anna, right? So back to what you were saying, Alana, that you would be you, you feel happy about Jesus coming back, right? And I see Zalia shaking her head. How do you feel about Jesus coming back? Glad. Glad. Why do you feel glad, Azalia? Because I do not want to be destroyed. <laughs> Azalia doesn't want to be destroyed. She wants to go to live with Jesus. All right. So um, talk to me. What are some of the things? that we need to do so that we can go to live with Jesus. What are some of the things that you think we can do, boys and girls? Um, we need to follow the commandments and have like a daily talk with God. Yes, follow the commandments and have a daily talk with God. Anybody else can tell me what are some of the things that you think we need to do as Christians to go to heaven? Pray to God. Pray to God, yes, that's one. How about when we're at school? What are some of the things that we can do? Share the word with God. Share the word of God. Share the word of God with others. Alana? Mm, read the Bible. Read your Bible. Yes, because when we read the Bible, we learn more about God. Shamari, what can you do to prepare yourself to go to live with Jesus? What are some of the things that you can do? All right, so Shamari is thinking about it. We'll come back to her. Carly, so go ahead. Tell us more about the lesson. Okay, so the memory verse says, look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him. All right, hold on a moment. I think the boys and girls can read that together. You may share the quarterly with them so that we can read the memory verse together. All right, after two boys and girls, go ahead. Look, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him. And where is it taken from? Verse 12? No. Revelation 1 verse 7. Revelation 1 verse 7. But as Omari says verse 12, tell the boys and girls where in their Bibles they can find the lesson currently. So. Okay, you can find the lesson in John 14 verse 1 to 3, First Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 18, and Revelation 1 verse 7. Right. So our memory verse is coming from Revelation 1 verse 7. All right. So so there was something that you mentioned, Carlisa. Remember Carlisa mentioned that when Christ comes back, the dead in Christ shall rise? Yes. 
Did you did you did you mention that? Right. What do we understand from that? Do we what do we understand from that? That the dead in Christ shall rise. Yes, Zalia? It's okay, you can go ahead and share with me. That everybody who is dead will come alive. Alright, alright, that's what Zalia thinks. Everybody who is dead will come alive. But what else? What else comes to your mind? It says the dead in Christ shall rise. Carlisa? Everyone who's dead and the relationship before that with Christ was healthy. Right. So when it says the dead in Christ shall rise, boys and girls, it means that you were a Christian. It means that you had a relationship, Omari. Like when you said to pray to God, it means that you had a relationship with God and you died in Christ. So you're going to be risen in Christ. All right. Very well. And Jesus loves to keep promises. Let's go to, we read the memory verse. How about the message? All right. Go ahead with the message. Jesus loves us so much that he wants us to live with him forever. Wow. Isn't that wonderful that Jesus loves us so much that he wants us to live with him forever? Yes. yes. And very well. And no, I think you have very important points from the lesson. You have studied your lessons, right, boys and girls? Yes, yes Auntie Anna. Good. Carlisa, do you want to go ahead and take those VIPs from the boys and girls? Okay. Shamari, what was your lesson? God, God will prepare a place for us to live in heaven with him. Amen. And does that make you feel happy? Yes, Aunt Anna. All right, very well. How about you, Anna? What was your view? God wants us to live in heaven with him. Amen. And how does that make you feel? Happy. Very happy, yes? What was your VIP, Omari? We, Jesus wants us to live in heaven with him, be happy and be joyful. Amen. Joyful. And of course. <laughs> Where's your VIP, Azalea? Um, when Jesus comes, everybody will see him. All right. But Azalea, everybody will see him. But um, will everybody go to heaven to live with him? No. Um, okay. No, Oh, Auntie Anna, all right, that's fine. But who's not going to heaven to live with God? Satan. Oh, definitely. And if we do not keep the commandments, and if we do bad things, and we we are, what Carly saw, what would stop us from going to heaven, boys and girls? Yes, um, when we don't worship God regularly. Yes, when, when we, we don't have a relationship with God. So I want each of you to encourage the boys and girls. Tell them one thing that they can do to have a relationship with God. Yes, Azalea. You can still go to heaven if you repent. That's correct. That's correct. It's a very important point. Boys and girls, Azalea is saying that if you do something wrong, you don't have to always do that thing. You can repent, and then you can get to go to heaven. Give me a high five. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to encourage the boys and girls what to do to get to heaven? Any other encouragement? So Zalia says you're to repent if you want to go to heaven. Anybody else? No? All right. How about, as you all said, to pray? Um, Carlisa says to have a good relationship with God, right? And to share the word of God. They said all those important points. So boys and girls, if you want to go to heaven to live with the Lord, then you have to have that relationship with the Lord. Read your Bible, pray every day, study the word of God, share the word of God. And moreover, if you have done something wrong, repent. Right, boys and girls? Yes, Auntie Anna. Was it a good lesson? Yes, Auntie Anna. All right. And that's a wrap from our primary lesson 10. Let's say that's a wrap. That's a wrap. All right, and now we want to remind the boys and girls to do something now. Because remember, we're on YouTube, and we want them to follow us, but we want them to do what now? We want them to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. So what? Why should they subscribe? So that you'll be notified, so that you'll be notified every time we post a video. Right, and why your face look like that? And then Auntie Anna loves to say, go ahead and... Click that, that notification, notification bell. bell. <laughs> All right, let's tell the boys and girls bye. 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 See you next week, boys and girls.